explain exactly what you're doing and what's that thing there and what does it do? Well, this is an enlarger and it puts the picture on the pink. Okay. And uh, show me some of the controls on there. Um, well, you use this to advance your film and basically go from, uh, from one piece of film to another. Mm -hmm. And then you focus it with this. And you bring it down with this. Mm -hmm. And you can use these to change the colors. And what's that over there? This? Mm -hmm. It's the timer. Uh huh. And, uh, and so you need a different time for every picture, huh? Yeah, basically we are timing this picture to 17 seconds. Uh -huh. And this is going to beam down on the paper for 17 seconds and then it's going to go off and then we're going to put it in the developer and so on. Okay, so this is the developer. Yes, developer, stop bath, and fixer. Okay. All right. Well, how about we uh, turn the light off and uh, see what the negative looks like when it's shining down on there? Okay. This is the paper. And it always goes shiny side up. Mm -hmm. And that's at uh, f5.6 now. And why is it wrapped in that black plastic? To keep it from accidentally being exposed to light. It'll fog it up and then it'll just be gray and swarming. It'll be junk, huh? Yeah. All right, so what are you doing now? I'm about to press the button and the analogy is going to come on and lay down on this paper to create the image. Okay. And there's the lights coming back on. Orange lights, that is. Okay. And this is the developer. And it's just going to magically put the picture on the paper. And this is the stop bath, and I'm putting it in here for 30 seconds. And you just squish it until the 30 seconds is over. And what this is doing is it is basically deactivating the developer. It's making the silver stop reacting. Mm -hmm. But the silver is still there. Yeah, but it's making the developer quit, basically. And that's what the next thing is for, right? Yes. And what does that next thing do to the silver? Doesn't it just wash it off? Yeah. And you put it in there for how long? Four minutes. And after two minutes, then you can turn the light. Then you can turn the lights back on. It won't affect it at that point. But if you turn it on any sooner, then it'll kill your picture. Like, You've seen that before, haven't you? Yeah, it just kills it. It goes away. It just starts dying. It turns black and looks like ink is running all over the place. So you're pretty good at this. You could probably teach somebody. I could go follow that. Well, that image is pretty well developed. I'm going to shut this thing off until we can turn the lights back on and dry it. Okay.
What are you doing? You can't get much more waterproof than actually having it processed in water, right? No, I mean, you use liquids the whole time. Yeah. All right, show her about your print real quick. Ink would not have held up to that. Hmm. That's a pretty cool picture. Just so everyone knows, this is not ink, this is silver. Mm-hmm. 